Hey guys, welcome back to the Market Wizards Lessons playlist. In this Market Wizards Lessons episode, we'll be taking a look at Richard Danny's turtle trading strategy. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the turtle trading strategy that Richard Dennis used to turn $400 into around $200 million. And also some of the strategy that Richard Dennis taught in his turtle trading program. These are the five lessons from Richard Dennis that I'll be sharing with you in this video. The first is trading strategies and trend following. The second is thoughts on losses and mistakes. Third is fundamentals and technicals. Fourth, don't buy because of these things. Fifth, advice to novice traders. And if you are new and just starting out trading in the stock market, you want to stay until the end of the video because I believe that the fifth lesson on advice to novice traders can really help you in your trading. So make sure you stick around in this video to discover all of that. The first lesson from Richard Dennis is trading strategies and trend following. The main trading strategy that Richard Dennis uses in the stock market is trend following. So in a nutshell, he allows the trends in the market to guide his trading decisions. If the market is on an uptrend, he will be long on the market. And if the market is on a downtrend, he will go short on the market. So he lets the market decide whether he's going long or going short. Some of you might be wondering what are the exact strategies that Richard Dennis uses to define a trend. And Richard Dennis has this to say, being consistent and having the discipline to follow a trading strategy is more important than the particular characteristics used to define the trend. In other words, it's good to know the exact strategies used to define a trend. However, as long as you have the basics and the fundamentals on how to define a trend, and you having the discipline to follow this strategy consistently is more important than the particular characteristics used to define the trend. So what are the basics and fundamentals that you need to have in your trend following strategy? Richard Dennis mentioned that the most critical thing is in a major trend, your strategy should ensure that you're in the trend. Right, so as long as your trend following strategy allow you to participate in a major trend, Richard Dennis believed that that is the most important part in your strategy. And he also remarked about this. A trading system that many people are aware of are not as vulnerable to not working as many people think. And he made this comment back in the days where trend following was very prevalent. Because trend following strategies were widely used at the time, there are many people who believe that trend following will not work as well as before. But Richard Dennis doesn't believe so. Because he believed that the key to being successful in the stock market is consistency and discipline rather than the trading system itself. Because even if you had the best trading system in the world, if you do not have the discipline to follow the system consistently, you will not be able to realize the age that the system possesses. Because for any age and probabilities to play out, it requires a larger sample of trades. So if a person does not have consistency and discipline, the person is unable to reap the benefits of the trading system. The second lesson from Richard Dennis is thoughts on losses and mistakes. He mentions that we should make as many mistakes as possible, especially when we are just starting out because the mistakes that we make at that time will be relatively less expensive. That is why I believe that the worst thing that can happen to any new investor or trader in the stock market is when he or she starts making huge amounts of money at the start, using the wrong principles and doing the wrong things. Because the profits will reinforce these wrong behaviours in the markets, which will definitely lead to large losses down the road. And that is also another reason why Richard Dennis believed that we should make many mistakes, especially when we are just starting out. Because not only are the mistakes less expensive at that time, but it also can allow us to learn from these mistakes and avoid committing them in the later part of our investing or trading journey. And Richard Dennis also believed that we should minimize our losses. He wants us to minimize our losses and preserve our capital. And it sounds really simple and a no-brainer. But sometimes common sense is not common practice. And if we don't minimize our losses in the stock market, it will affect us in two ways. The first is that it will affect us emotionally and prevent us from making the right decision when opportunities come along. And the second is that if we do not minimize our losses, we will suffer losses and our capital will be relatively small and we can't put a large position when the right opportunity come along. And I want to highlight the first point because it's very important. Back when I first started investing and trading in the stock market, I didn't minimize my losses and that really affected me emotionally. And when you're not in the right mental state, it is very hard to invest and trade in the stock market properly. And that brings us to the next part. When encountering losses, we want to take time off when we encounter a losing streak or large losses. Because these losses can affect our judgement and our state. And the worst thing that we want to do when we encounter a losing streak or large losses is try to revenge trade. Because revenge trading is one of the surest ways to lose money in the stock market. The third market wizard lesson from Richard Dennis is fundamentals and technicals. Richard Dennis value both fundamental analysis and technical analysis. However, based on my interpretation of Richard Dennis' interview with Jack Schrager, I believe that he leans more towards technicals compared to fundamentals. 
because he was presented this question about fundamentals deviating from the technicals. He mentioned that he would still follow the trend, but may exit faster than a trend falling system would. So if the technicals and the trend is indicating that the market is going up, but his fundamental analysis says otherwise, he will still follow the trend, but may exit faster than a normal trend following system would. Another common question is, after doing our fundamental and technical analysis, how do we know whether our thesis is wrong or right? And Richard Dennis believed that after a week or two, if you are sitting on a loss, then your thesis is wrong. Or not even on a loss, even if you break even, but there has been a significant amount of time that has passed since you first entered. Your thesis is also probably wrong. And this was also a lesson that Paul Tudor Jones shared in his interview with Jack Schwager. On top of having price stops, we should also have time stop. So if we enter our position in a stock, and after a period of time, the stock hasn't moved in our direction, then it is likely that our thesis is wrong or we entered at the wrong time. And that is when we should exit our position even if we are breaking even. The fourth lesson is don't buy because of these things. And the first thing is don't buy just because prices are low and the downside seems limited. And this is a very, very common thing that new investors and traders make in the stock market. They believe that just because the stock price is low, their downside is limited. For example, if the price of a stock is around $5, they believe that at $5, the stock is unlikely to go down in price anymore. But what they don't realize is that the price of a stock can go all the way down to $0. Even if the stock doesn't go to $0, but it dropped below $2.50, the person will also lose more than half his capital. So the lesson here is don't buy just because prices are low and the downside seem limited. Because after all, most of the times when a price of a stock is low, it is low for a reason. If we take a look at the Lehman Brothers example, the stock traded at around $80 at one point in time. But after that, the stock price declined substantially. And for all those people who believe that at a price of around $10 to $20, the price seems cheap and the downside limited, they are in for a root shock. Because even at around $10 to $20, the stock price still declined by quite a fair bit and the company went bankrupt. So I risk sounding like a net, but this advice is really important. Don't buy just because the price seems cheap and the downside limited. The fifth market wizard lesson from Richard Dennis is his advice to novice traders. When you're just starting out in the stock market, trade small because that's when you are likely to make the most mistakes and that is also when you are going to be as bad as you are ever going to be. So trade small and minimize your losses during that period of time and learn from your mistakes. And the next thing is don't be misled by the day-to-day -day fluctuations in your equity. Most people focus on the day-to-day -day price fluctuations of their capital. But no stock go up every single day. Even if the stock is on an uptrend, prices still go down on certain days. So rather than focus on the day-to-day -day fluctuations in your equity, Richard Dennis believed that we should focus on the process, not the random nature of any single trade's outcome. What this means is that we should trade like a casino. Casinos make money. But in the games in the casino, the casino does not win every single game. But that does not mean that they are unable to make money. Casinos focus on their age, and they allow their age to play out over a number of games. And that is what Richard Dennis wants novice traders to pay attention to. If you have learned something from this video, smash that like button because it will really help the channel grow and allow me to produce more content such as this. And if you are new to this channel and would like to learn more from this market results, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell button so that you'll be first to receive notifications when these videos come out. I'll see you in those other videos. To your financial success.